So let's get some perspective, not only on the politics, but the economics here. Richard Ravitch is the former New York State Lieutenant Governor who's been warning about these crushing state pension costs for years now. Uh, and you've really been focused on this. And when we spoke last, you were talking about pushing people to make difficult decisions. That's really, in some ways, what the collective bargaining dispute is about. Do you think that collective bargaining inhibits innovation or does it really help in terms of protecting wages? Well, it's, it's hard for me to believe that people don't have a right to organize and bargain collectively for their wages. I think what's going on in Wisconsin, there's a lot of optics as well as substance to it on both the part of the governor and the unions. Uh, some quiet discussions probably would have produced the same result that we will ultimately see happening in Wisconsin. But the reason it's so difficult is that nobody thought that this problem wouldn't be solved when we came out of a recession. But the truth of the matter is that the problem has been accumulating for years before the uh, economic events of 2008. There's been a rate of growth of state and local expenditures that has far exceeded the rate of growth of revenues, and that that structural deficit has to be addressed in very fundamental ways.